In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Google Reviews widget like this onto your Elementor website for free. Let's get started. Here I am on my WordPress dashboard, and the first thing I'm going to do is install the Reviews Feed plugin by Smashbullet. On the left-hand side, go to Plugins and click on Add New. Next, we can search for Reviews Feed. And the one we want is right here, so we can click on Install Now. And once installed, we can activate the plugin as well. And there we go, Reviews Feed has now been installed and activated. To get started on the left-hand side, you'll now notice Reviews Feed. Go ahead and click on that. And at the top, we can click on Add New to get started. For the first step of creating our Google Reviews feed, we'll have to add a source for our feed. Click Add Source, and on this screen, you can see all the different sources supported by the Reviews Feed plugin. You can display reviews from Google and Yelp in the free version. But with the pro version, you also get access to Facebook, TripAdvisor, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share your Google reviews. So we can select Google and click Next. And for the second step, we'll have to enter a Google API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial in the top right corner of your screen, or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, you can paste it like this, then click Next. And for step number three, we'll have to enter the place ID for the page we want to fetch our reviews from. To find the place ID for your business, click here, and this will take you to Google's place ID page. If you scroll down, you'll find this map here where you can search for your location. For this demonstration, I'm going to type in Angelina Bakery. And we're looking for this one here, the Times Square one. Once we've found our location, we can see the place ID just like this. So we can copy it, head back into our site, and paste it inside the text box. After that, click Finish. Now we can see Angelina Bakery added as a source, and it's already selected for us. So we can click Next. And on the final step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. With the free version of the plugin, we only have access to the default layout. But with the pro version, you can get even more layout options, such as the simple cards, masonry, carousel, and more. To complete creating our reviews feed, we can click on Next. And instantly we have a live preview of our brand new reviews feed inside the plugin. It's displaying the latest Google reviews for Angelina Bakery. Inside each review, we can see the author name, when that review was published, the star rating that was given, and the review content. And on the top right corner of each review, we have a Google logo indicating that the review is from Google. Our reviews feed is now ready to be embedded inside our Elementor web page, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize the feed. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Layout. Inside this menu, you can customize the layout of your Google Reviews feed. Currently, we have the list layout selected, which displays your Google Reviews in a single column list. Alternatively, you can go with the masonry layout, and this one displays your Google Reviews in rows and columns. For now, let's continue with the list layout, and if I scroll down, you can choose how many reviews you want to display inside your feed initially. At the moment, we're only displaying 4 reviews, but if you want to modify that, just change it to the number of reviews you want to display. For example, let's go with 6 instead of 4. And now, inside our Reviews feed, we have 6 reviews instead of 4. You can modify it to suit your needs, but for now I'm going to stick with 4, and if you make any changes, click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header at the top of your feed, under the Customize tab, click on Header. Here you can choose whether you want to hide or display the heading and the button on the right hand side. To hide any of these elements, just deselect it like this, and the element will be hidden from your Reviews feed. And to bring it back, you can click it like this, and that will bring it back immediately. Or if you want to hide the header entirely, just toggle it off at the top just like this. And there we go, our header is now hidden from our feed, but for now, I'm going to bring that back, and if you make any changes, click Save on the top right corner. Okay, now that you know how to create and customize your reviews feed, let me show you how we can embed it inside Elementor. To embed it, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, and click on Add to a page. Select the page you want to embed your feed to, and click Add. And here we are on our page, and what we have to do next is click Edit with Elementor. Now inside Elementor, navigate to the location you want to display your reviews feed. Let's embed it over here. To embed our reviews feed, all we have to do is add a shortcode block. You can find it like this. Here we go, shortcode, drag, and drop it over here. Next, we can paste the shortcode that we copied earlier, just like this. And straight away, you can see a live preview of our Google Reviews feed inside our Elementor web page. We can now click Publish, and check out what that looks like on the live site. And here we are inside our live Elementor web page. If I scroll down, we can see our brand new Reviews feed embedded inside Elementor. We can see all the latest reviews for Angelina Bakery inside this feed, with the author name, when the review was published, the star rating, and the review content. And on the right hand side, we also have a write a review button. If I click on it, that takes us directly to that Google business page where we can go ahead and leave a review straight away. This makes it really convenient for your site visitors to go and leave Google reviews for you directly from your Elementor website. And there you have it. That's how we can add a Google reviews widget like this onto Elementor for free. And if you're ready to take your reviews feed to the next level, consider upgrading to Review Speed Pro. With the Pro version, you can unlock advanced features like filtering reviews based on rating, displaying reviews from multiple platforms, and customizing the design to match your brand perfectly. Using Reviews Feed Pro is the best way to showcase glowing feedback and build trust with your audience. Visit smashballoon.com to check it out today, or try out the Reviews Feed plugin for free from your WordPress repository. 
If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team and they'd be happy to help you out. Please consider subscribing to our channel for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.